We're reading Srimad Bhagavatam, Canto 3, Chapter 29, the explanation of devotional service, text number 24. Aham Uchavache Dravyai. Aham Uchavache Dravyai. Aham Uchavache Dravyai. Kriya Yot Panayana Gai. Kriya Yot Panayana Kriya Yot Panayana Gai. Kriya Yot Panayana Gai. 
Bhavatu Shri Vichito Naku Richayam Nai Bhavatu Shri Vichito Rachayam Nai Bhavatu Shri Vichito Rachayam Nai Bhavatu Shri Vichito Rachayam Bhuta Grama Vamanina Bhuta Grama Vamanina Bhuta Grama Vamanina Vamanina Bhuta Grama Vamanina Ahamucha Vachaya Dravyai Ahamucha Vachaya Dravyai Priya Yod Panayana Ki Priya Yod Panayana Ki Naiva Tushi Richito Richayam Naiva Tushi Richito Richayam Bhuta Grama Vamanina Bhuta Grama Vamanina Ahamucha Vachaya Dravyai Ahamucha Vachaya Dravyai Priya Yod Panayana Ki Priya Yod Panayana Ki Naiva Tushi Richito Richayam Naiva Tushi Richito Richayam Bhuta Grama Vamanina Bhuta Grama Achayam, Achayam, in the deity form, in the deity form, Bhuta Grama, Bhuta Grama, other living entities, the other living entities, Abhamanina, Abhamanina, with those who are disrespectful, with those who are disrespectful. Translation: My dear mother, even if he worships with proper rituals and paraphernalia, a person 
who is ignorant of my presence in all living entities, never pleases me by the worship of my deities in the temple. You can repeat. My dear mother, my dear mother, mother even if he worships, even even if he worships with, with proper rituals and paraphernalia, with proper rituals and paraphernalia, a person who is ignorant, a person who is ignorant of my presence, of my presence in all living entities, in all living entities, never pleases me. Never pleases me by the worship of my deities. By the worship of my, my deities in the temple. In the temple. Purport by Srila Prabhupada. Yes. There are sixty-four different prescriptions for worship of the deity in the temple. There are many items offered to the deity, some valuable and some less valuable. It is prescribed in Bhagavad Gita. If a devotee offers me a small flower, a leaf, some water, or a little fruit, I will accept it. The real purpose is to exhibit one's loving devotion to the Lord. The offerings themselves are secondary. If one has not developed loving devotion to the Lord and simply offers many kinds of foodstuffs, fruits, and flowers, Without real devotion, the offering will not be accepted by the Lord. We cannot bribe the personality of Godhead. He is so great that our bribery has no value, nor has he any scarcity since he is full in himself. What can we offer him? Everything is produced by him. We simply offer to show our love and gratitude to the Lord. That this gratitude and love for God is exhibited by a pure devotee who knows that the Lord lives in every living entity. As such, temple worship necessarily includes distribution of prasad. It is not that one should create a temple in his private apartment or private room, offer something to the Lord and then eat. Of course, that is better than simply cooking foodstuffs and eating without understanding one's relationship with the Supreme Lord. People who act in this manner are just like animals. But the devotee who wants to elevate himself to the higher level of understanding must know that the Lord is present in every living entity. And as stated in the previous verse, one should be compassionate to other living entities. A devotee should worship the Supreme Lord, be friendly to persons who are on the same level, and be compassionate to the ignorant. One should exhibit his compassion for ignorant living entities by distributing prasad. Distribution of prasad to the ignorant masses of people is essential for persons who, who make offerings to the personality of God. Real love and devotion is accepted by the Lord. Many valuable foodstuffs may be presented to a person, but if the person is not hungry, all such offerings are useless for him. Similarly, we may offer many valuable items to the deity, but if we have no real sense of devotion and no real sense of the Lord's presence everywhere, then we are lacking in devotional service. In such a state of ignorance, we cannot offer anything acceptable to the Lord. Om Magyana Timirandasya Gyananjana Shalakaya Chakshuram Militanjena Tasmai Shri Gurave Namaha Shri Chaitanya Mano Vishtam Tapitam Yehavutare Swayam Rupa Kadamaram Kadakri Swamadantikam Vandeyam Shri Guru Shri Vita Padakamalam Shri Guru Vaishnavamsya Shri Rupam Sagrajatam Sadhana Raghunatham Vitam Tam Sajivam 
Sarvaitam Sarvadutam Parijana Sarvam Krishna Chaitanya Devam Shri Radha Krishna Padam Sahagana Lalita Shri Vishaka Nitam Hare Krishna Karna Sindhu Dina Bandhu Jagatpate Gopesha Gopika Kanta Radha Kanta Namastate Tata Kanchana Gorange Radhe Vrindavaneshwari Vishahana Sutra Devi Pranamami Hari Priya Vancha Kalpa Tarugya Shakripa Sindhu Kaevacha Patita Nam Pavadhebhyo Vaishnavibhyo Namo Namaha Jai Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Adwaita Gadadhara Shri Vasadi Kora Bhakta Vrinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare So Lord Kapila is continuing to instruct Mother Devahuti about how the, the pure devotee sees the Lord in the heart of everyone. Om Kabir Dai Son, Hai Medoti, Medoti Wa, Vidi Kan, Vipun Chalasala, Yang Wurisu, Ta Pavati Ma, Tam Yang Ai. Just because we worship the deity, that is not sufficient, that is not how to actually please the Lord. So, just Prabhupada explains, just like we may offer things to the Lord, we may offer a leaf, a flower, fruit, water to Krishna, but that is not giving him pleasure. The Lord has many goddesses of fortune all serving him in the spiritual world. So just we we cannot please Krishna just by our offerings. But Krishna wants our love and devotion. He wants us and he, he wants us to have love and devotion, not only for him, but we should see him also in the hearts of all living entities. So therefore Prabhupada says, when we offer food to the Lord, then we should distribute to the, to the people. And we should not just simply offer to the Lord just only for ourselves. So Prabhupada wrote a letter in 1977, I think it was. Prabhupada wrote to all the temples and he said, you must always have prasadam ready to give the guests. And Prabhupada mentioned, he said you should cook some puris and sabji, pakora, halava. Mm -hmm. 
And if nobody comes, then Astasaki is there to eat it all. <laughs> Whatever's left over can be eaten by the devotees. But Prabhupada said Krishna is not a poor man. Where Krishna is present, there, was, there should be no scarcity. So he said, when people come, you cannot tell them, oh, there's no prasadam. There should always be prasadam. So this is how we show our compassion to the, all the living entities. Mm -hmm. We want to distribute the mercy of Krishna. Now, of course, if we're offering food to Krishna, and we just if we just offer just for ourselves, it's, a, it's better than not offering. But it's not pure devotion. Pure devotion is when we offer to the Lord and then we also distribute to the, the people. So, uh, this is a, this is a, an important instruction, Srila Prabhupada. Prabhupada always liked to see prasadam distributed. When, Pra when Prabhupada would give a lecture, then after the lecture, then they would distribute prasadam. Of course, it doesn't mean you have to give a lot. It doesn't mean a full meal. But often Prabhupada would give one sweet. One sweet. Yeah. Sometimes you see in Los Angeles, you can see Prabhupada giving biscuits, all the children would come. Prabhupada would give everybody, all the children biscuits. So we often have that program in many temples in Malaysia, usually in Malaysia like that, they bring always up. After the class, they bring some prasadam and distribute to everybody. Not everyone expects to eat a big meal. For most people, prasadam means what you take and take in one hand. We see in, in Mayapur, if you, when you give class in Mayapur in the evening after the Bhagavad Gita class, then they bring the Maha and you distribute all the Maha to everyone. I think you also in the lunchtime they also distribute the prasad. People line up and you put some maha prasadam in their hand. When we go on Parikrama in Mayapur, we always we also bring prasadam. They bring some little pieces of sugar, candy or something and peanuts and we distribute to all the people in the village. Uh, 
มาแล้วก็จะเอาขนมหวานแกนดี้ขนมหวานนั้นมาแจกจ่ายให้กับเด็กๆซึ่งบัพติสดันตาสารสติ I heard from Jai Patakta Swami he was telling about บัพติสดันตาสารสติ that he said he would bring some sweets and when the children from the village in Mayapur would come he would give the village children some sweets บัพติสดันตาสวามีบอกบอกว่าถ้าเด็กเด็กในหมู่บ้านมาฉันจะหาฉันจะให้ขนมหวานให้กับเด็กหมู่บ้าน so like that this is this is a a way to cultivate favorable relationship with people อันนี้คือการเข้าร่วมในการอยู่เข้าร่วมกับผู้คน When Prabhupada was first in New York, he was going to visit the bookshops, and he would try to sell his sets of Bhagavatam to the bookshop. Uh, and he would cook some samosas first, and bring the samosas with them, and he would give samosas to the people in the bookshop. <laughs> ทำอาหารที่สโมสรสโมสรแล้วก็จะเอาสโมสรเนี่ยไปแจกจ่ายที่ร้านหนังสือ so giving prasadam and offering prasadam and accepting prasadam is one of the six that these are two of the six items of loving exchange between one devotee and another การถวายแล้วก็การแจกจ่ายก็คือกับการเสาไปร่วมเสาเป็นแสดงความรักของสามีแสดงความรักของสามี But we don't just only give prasadam to devotees so we give prasadam everywhere to everyone ไม่ใช่ให้ให้ประสาทแก่ devotee อย่างเดียวเราควรจะให้ประสาทต้องทุกทุกแห่ง We were hearing yesterday how Shivananda Singh gave prasadam to the dogs เมื่อวานให้ประชาชนแก่มา So that dog also became liberated because of the mercy of a devotee มาก็อาจจะหลุดพ้นได้เมื่อเมื่อได้รับประชาชนจากเสา So Krishna is in the hearts of all living entities and all living entities need to get ประชาชน Krishna อยู่อยู่อยู่หัวใจของทุกทุกมนชีวิตแล้วก็ทุกคนชีวิตก็อยากได้ประสาทแต่ว่าคนจริงๆแล้วคุณชอบอยู่สนใจในลูกหลานของร่างกายมนุษย์ The human form of life is has the special opportunity to has the more facility to cultivate Krishna consciousness ร่างกายมนุษย์เราก็คือเป็นร่างกายพิเศษเพื่อจะรับใช้หรือว่าพัฒนาพิเศษสำนึก So um, giving prasadam to the, the people gives them a chance to uh, uh, to experience uh, to appear to by accepting prasadam That it gives them a chance to begin their devotional service. They get some piety. They become pious by accepting prasada. Piety. Piety. Ah, he 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 And that qualifies them to take up more devotional service. So we don't want to just give prasadam to the poor people. Sometimes we think, oh, we'll go to all the areas where the poor people are and give them prasadam. But Srila Prabhupada said that's not 
the proper way. He said, you should give prasadam everywhere because rich people are also poor. People may be wealthy materially, but they're poor spiritually. So they need prasadam. And we should think how to make it appealing. If we if we just have a soup kitchen, then you may attract all the poor people, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so the devotee who runs uh, the Food for Life department in America, you know, he would, would explain it. He, he would like to see you know, people upgrade their prasadam distribution. Think how to give prasadam to the more wealthy or more affluent type of people. <laughs> So you can arrange things like a banquet or some kind of nice vegetarian uh, feast or something, you know. Yeah, we should you have to make it appealing to people to attract even the the, the higher class of people to come take prasad. There, there was one. There, they had this one scientific conference in Bombay. Oh no, it was another time. The uh, Prabhupada was in Los Angeles, and this one big scientist, very famous, world famous scientist, a Nobel Prize winner, he came to meet Prabhupada. Me, me, me. Nobel Nobel and so Prabhupada was talking to him and at first the, you know the scientist was arguing with Prabhupada, disagreeing, you know, arguing against Prabhupada's philosophy. Yeah. So then at one point the devotees brought in a big plate of Mahaprasada from the temple. And it was, it was very opulent. There was, you know, things like eggplant parmesan, you know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So Prabhupada took the maha plate and gave it to the sign and said, this is for you. So the sign said, oh. <laughs> and so he began to eat, you know. <laughs> he began to eat and as he was eating, Prabhupada kept talking to him. <coughs> now previously he'd been arguing with Prabhupada, but after he started to eat prasada, he would begin to agree with everything <laughs> Prabhupada said. And not only was he agreeing with Prabhupada, but he was giving arguments to support what Prabhupada was saying. So Prabhupada was, Prabhupada was showing how to preach to these people. 
่าพอฟ้ากําลังสอนหรือว่าให้สอนให้ดูว่าเราควรที่จะเผยแพร่กับพวกคนนี้อย่างไร And the, one, they had the big conference one time in Juhu. It was the b a k t i v i d a n t a Institute scientific conference, and people came from all over the world. มีมีบอกมีผู้คนหลายหลายคนมาประชุมแล้วก็คุยเรื่องภาษาเล่ So the one devotee was bringing one of the scientists to the airport after the conference. And he was talking to him, and he was saying, "How did you like the conference?" Oh. And this man was a, he was a very big scientist. You know, he was also a very famous scientist. And so he said, the most interesting thing I learned at the conference was that I could be satisfied on a vegetarian meal. So we want to give more people that kind of experience.